It's the Animal Crossing Podcast. I'm your host, N64 Josh, with Animal Crosser Jen. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Everybody's going to notice your name has changed. It's changed everywhere on Twitter, Instagram, even Twitch coming soon. It's going to be, it's at Crosser Jen on Twitter. And is it Animal Crosser Jen on Instagram? Yes, it is. It fit. Okay, cool. So she has been putting out a lot of Animal Crossing content on her social media. So make sure, make sure to go, go check her out there. And uh, this game is one month old. So we're like, hey, let's get the podcast back up and talk about some of the stuff that we are absolutely loving with this game. So I'm gonna let you take it away. Okay, yes, I can't believe it's been a month already. I'm, I I love this game. I love it so much. Um, so I initially just starting, like I can't believe how beautiful the game is. All the detail they put into like the lighting, all the shadows, the time of day, um, even the weeds are pretty. Like I had a hard time weeding my island because they were so pretty. <laughs> I heard a number of people say that. Like I watched a few different streams and they were like, oh, I don't want to pull all my weeds. I like the way they look. I like the way they look. And yeah. here, the, one of the things that I like the most is the way the, the, the leaves, uh, the wind blowing through the trees. Like it just, it's like you were in the mountains and it's, it's absolutely so nice. Yeah. You can hear when the wind picks up and you're like, Oh, the weather is changing. And then all of a sudden you can see the clouds start, you know, blowing in and yeah, it's pretty incredible. My favorite times a day, I've only seen sunrise a couple of times, but the sunrise and the sunset, that golden hour, Oh man, it's, it's beautiful on this game. So the lighting, the details, the leaves, the plants, Oh, it just, yeah. It, it's it, yeah. It's something to behold. And it's, you know, we've gone from playing this on the, the we did have it on the TV with, with wild world or uh, city folk, but it was such a long time ago. Right. And you go back and like, you, you, even trying to open up new leaf now. And it's like, it's how, hard. you can't go back. You it's hard. You can't go back. It, it, it's just, this game looks so good. And the, just all the different flowers, the, 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 the other residents, the way they interact with the island and the things that they do and even the conversations they have, all of it, so much thought, so much detail, and so funny. Yes, yeah, it's very entertaining getting to know the villagers. There's a few of them are quite a hoot. <laughs> Yeah, t tell them about Boomer. L oh. let's, let's tell them about Boomer. So I don't have Boomer, but our daughter does, and he is hilarious. So she keeps sending me pictures of his conversations, and they are so funny. Like one of his was some a comment something about how he remembers how his mom would make sandwiches, and he's like something about how. Um, how oh yeah and i think she uses bread and like just random <laughs> things like that and like his ideas come from the bugs that talk to him from the f like in his floor at night and <laughs> i don't know he's got he fell into the river because his uh vaulting pole broke and so he's like but i made a lot of new friends with the fish or something like that i don't know it was <laughs> <He's>, just funny <laughs> he is so goofy he's so goofy and and that's the thing there's so the, the variety of of like different residents that you can get to move in like there, there's just so many there's so many and then this is the first time that we've had so much control over the game and the ability to really like change change your island to be exactly how you want it to add different layers to move all of the like to move all the animals where you want them to move your museum around and I, I did make a mistake. I tried to set my museum exactly where I wanted and I knew better. I knew better. I was one square off. So that means I have to move the museum twice now oh. because if I want to get it exactly lined up. So no, it's going to kill you it, if you don't. It probably will. It probably will. <laughs> and I, I did put out a, I put out a video talking about how to how to perfectly move your the, the different residents, how to get their homes exactly where you want them. Start with your paths, lay your yes. paths out first then place their homes and uh, you won't have to do it more than once. Because if you try to guess, yeah. even if you try to imagine it, you're like, oh, it looks like it's lined up. It might not be. Set those paths, get some lines of reference, and then and then go ahead and move them. Right, because not only is it 50,000 bells every time, but you waste a whole day waiting for it. That's what kills me. Like, the bells, okay, fine, but, oh, the time it takes. Don't you just want to time travel? Well, so, I mean, honestly, it's tempting, like, this the inclines, the bridges, the moving of the buildings to wait one day and only being able to do one at a time. It's its rough. It is a little tempting to want to just rush the building process, but I've tried to be patient and 
because <sighs> I don't want to time travel. But yeah, I wish they would give us a little like even if we pay double to like rush, you know, rush the process here. Like, yep. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That would be nice. That would be nice. The I know one of the things that you are absolutely loving is all the different recipes and and the crafting. And at first, like I wasn't a big fan of it. I was like, oh, this crafting isn't that fun. But it's added a whole nother level of things to collect. And that's really what this game has become for me is about is about collecting. And I think it's kind of become that way for everybody. You are continually doing these catalog parties with people on Instagram and Facebook and you're loving it. I absolutely love it. So I I love to collect. That's always been one of my things. Even if I don't like the item or ever use the item, I still want it in my catalog. And so you're right. The DIYs, um, and they've kind of given, they've added so much, um, like there's always one on your beach. There's always uh, one of your villagers will be crafting morning, afternoon, and evening. So you can vi visit all of your villagers to get DIYs that way, the balloons. Like it is, it's like a little hunt. I'm always on the hunt for these DIYs. And so that's super fun. But then the catalog parties, oh my goodness. Like getting involved with other AC players, the community has been so much fun. And so, yeah, I've gone to a few islands where I've gotten to catalog and then I've had so much fun opening up my island and letting people come in and catalog. And a lot of people will bring me stuff too, which has been great because then I, I've gotten some really neat items just from that alone. Um, and you just pick it up and you drop it and then you can go and reorder it if it's not a DIY item. Um, but yeah, that's been huge for me. It's so much fun. And don't you have a catalog Animal Crossing group on Facebook that you're wanting to let people know about? I do. Um, I'm still working on getting it fully up and running, but yes, I have. It's, oh man, I titled it Animal Crossing. I'll have to look at it and put it in the show notes. That's all right. That's no worries. That's no worries. We can put uh, yeah. a link to the description in the in the in the show notes and on the YouTube video here if you guys want to be able to join the Animal Crossing catalog. Uh, group, group on Facebook yeah. and you're doing two groups right you're doing just kind of a general Animal Crossing group for people to chat and discuss and become friends and things like that but then you're doing one specifically for cataloging yes absolutely so yeah the one is just kind of anything all things Animal Crossing related um, and then yeah the the catalog one is just a place for whether I'm posting or somebody else wants to come in and host one and then we can put all the info um, you can also hit me up on uh, Instagram is probably the best place and I can send you a, D a dodo code to come catalog anytime also so. Because you've actually built a specific area on your your current island that is just it's it's all fenced off yeah. and you just people get out of the airport and they walk right into this area. You have you have bags of flowers for them if they want to take some flowers. You have recipes out that you that are duplicates, which I should just have you clean up all my ex yeah. all my duplicate recipes because I have a lot of them. Yeah. And then and then you have this this large area that probably has what like fifty items. Probably at least, and yeah, so I, I'm gonna work on that even more and make it just a fun little shopping area, but yeah, that's kind of my goal is to like host these, I just think it's so much fun, meeting new people, having people come over, and like I said, they bring stuff, they get to go home with stuff, and yeah, so that, I do, I have a whole area a little designated to just that, and it's it's a lot of fun. So has your has your opinion of this game changed at all the further we've gotten into it? Like, because I know for me, like I even hit burnout a little bit where it was like, I'm like, I need my Nintendo stuff to collect. Where's it at? It's not here. That's how I like to decorate is with that stuff. But it was it was missing. And and then I started doing Animal Crossing Cribs on my YouTube channel where I will go and visit other people's islands, get tours and have them do uh, I will interview them as I'm as I'm touring and hear about the things that they you know why they're creating this and I've taken a ton of inspiration from that and it's gotten me it like it kind of like I don't know it, it started the fire again for me with this game because I had I had kind of lost a little bit I mean we've put in a lot of time like we said early on right and so and I wasn't super keen on the on the crafting and the building but now all of a sudden I see all these like intricate houses with like these islands with these killer waterfalls and and mazes and puzzles and secret areas and hidden areas and all this stuff and i'm like yeah i want to get involved i want to start right. doing this absolutely and i think that's kind of how this game is we're seeing the longer you play like at first it was just the same like you know you got to pay off your loans to nook you've got to you know shake your trees sell your even your seashells just to get through those first you know the week or so of 
all the new phases. And then there was, there was kind of a sense of like the first few days was so exciting. Like, okay, what's, what's today going to hold, you know? And, oh, if we've got, you know, people moving in, you've got new stuff showing up. And then all of a sudden it was like, okay, well now what? <laughs> and so, like you said, though, you start to, the create the creativity kicks in and you get this inspiration from these other people. I love your crib series. Like there's, they're so inspiring and that's so much fun just to see what other people are doing because between being able to, um, change your island like you said being able to decorate your house in so many different ways like people's personality is really you get to you get to do you in this and it's it's there's not very many limitations like being able to customize your furniture and add in custom patterns and designs and i mean yeah you can spend obviously so much time on this game and i just i love that and that's re that's really that it's true like i mean i'd spend an entire day like just clearing trees and and getting like the whole left side of my island is going to be like my my residential and my uh, commercial area, if you will, right. so that I have the shops and the and the the resident services, the museum, all all kind of together. And then I'm going to have a little like kind of dense forest area that's actually going to be like where my campground is. But there will be a path all the way along the side of it, along the beach, that will then take you to the the resident area where all the yeah. different residents live. And I, I have all nine houses back there and paths between them. And it's just kind of it's not taking up a huge part of the island. And then the rest of it is where I get to get creative, where I get to make my secret areas, where I'm going to like make a cool like bamboo garden. And, Ooh, I like and that. you know. Yeah, there's just there's there's so many there's so much so much you can do and it, it is it's like it can it can even feel overwhelming at times it where definitely it's like can. and you almost need to make a list and just yeah, start checking stuff off the list and be sure. like okay I'm I because you look at it, you're like I gotta move all these trees I gotta I gotta demolish most of this cliff I gotta I gotta wait a day to move this house right. you know I gotta I want to like I need to take out this river. Now I've got these bridges that I don't need anymore because I, I picked an island that had an island in, on the island. So I needed so many bridges. Yeah. And now I'm getting rid of all of them. Right. I'm right. trashing them all. So. And I think that's I've seen a lot of people give that uh, little piece of advice to newer players not to go crazy on buying all your bridges at the beginning. Yes, convenience is nice, but you might regret that a little bit later once you unlock like the terraforming and whatnot. And um, yeah, for sure. it it Yeah, it's. It can be overwhelming in a sense, but I think it's so exciting because once you have all that unlocked and that ability, like it doesn't cost you money anymore. It's just time and you can you can change it again if you don't like it. Like I think that just one project at a time, one idea at a time. And sometimes even though like you don't fully know the end like goal you have in mind, you just start going and I feel like it kind of just takes form on its own. Like it just it comes together i don't know and if again if you don't like it you just redo it like that i almost want like i wish my island was bigger because you know like so that, but that's just kind of the fun of it is you just get to play around and there's no rules there's no wrong or right you just get to do you and you get to just be as creative as you want or you don't even have to be like if that's not your thing there's still plenty of things to do going to islands fishing you know the bugs doing like right now is still the tarantula islands at night like there's so many layers to this game that you can find what you know entertains you the most and yeah i have people asking me all the time while i'm streaming like what is the draw to this game why is it fun what i don't i don't understand like you know and it, it and then i have people that pick it up after i after i explain it to them and they're like yeah, I don't get. I can't explain it to anybody either. But I, I right. can't stop playing. And it's been that way for 18 years. Exactly. It's, it's, it's that's the yes. way it's been. It's, it's always been one of those games. It's hard to market. It's hard to, it's hard to explain. But then once you play it, you, you kind of just get hooked. And, it, I mean, you're so hooked. In fact, that you're talking about getting a Switch Lite, having another island. Oh dear. Like yeah. you, you, you want as many islands as possible, just because you're, you're enjoying this so much, and you have so many different ideas. Yeah, yeah, it's true. I definitely foresee myself uh, getting another island or two sometime. Not not in the near future, but definitely, definitely can see that happening. Next um, week. Next week. <laughs> yeah, we'll give another week or two. Um, but for sure. And I mean, my favorite, favorite thing. I'm so thankful that they finally let us put everything outside and have given us this opportunity to to decorate our, our towns and our yards. Cause I've said that from the GameCube, I've always wanted the ability to put stuff outside. And now that we have it, like it's just, the possibilities are endless. 
Yeah, and one of the things that was crazy with one of the episodes of Cribs is uh, Pitterate was the was the the person I went and interviewed, and his he would he would set up his inside of his rooms and different spots on the beach so that if you change the camera angle a certain way, you you kind of created a scene almost. And I thought that was really cool that that was the you know that was kind of how how he would lay stuff out. It wasn't necessarily just because he was like, oh, I want this I want this here on my beach and I want to be able to do this. It was like, no, I'm going to set this over on this rock. And it's true, like I have a couple of Godzillas fighting and as you slowly walk up on them, they slowly start to come into frame and you can, you can see them and it almost looks like a monster movie. Yeah. And so I've taken some pictures where I'm like, I'm, you know, slowly, slowly making my way to them or standing behind a rock and looking at them and and that's the thing is just your Instagram is just full of all these different pictures yeah. from like the golden hour. And that part is huge. You have the best photo. We both have Axel in our town. He's this funny <laughs> elephant that he's, smiles. Yes. He's always got this cheesy grin on his face and you, I, we're not going to tell you what he did, but you need to go to her Instagram at animal crossing, animal crosser, Jen, Yes. go and find the, the photo bomb of Axel. You've got to look closely. So go through some of the photos so and make great. sure to leave a comment if you see it because it is gold. It, it is, is gold. And there's yeah. so much comedy gold in this game. It's really, really cool. Yeah, but the whole camera aspect, like you're saying, like that to me adds so much more. It's just so much fun for me, like to set up your do little photo shoots, you know, the different times of the day, the different um, lighting. Like you said, the golden hour is amazing. But I even was over on your island last night. I went for the meteor shower, but then I saw your dinosaurs on the beach. And so I'm like, are your monsters? What are they? I call yeah, them Godzilla. Like, like Godzilla. Um, and so I'm like, oh, this is fun. And so, yeah, they're like back. I don't know. It's so much fun to pull the camera out. And at first I was like, why do we need a camera when we can just push the button? And then I started playing with it and all the different angles, because once you pull your camera out, you can still move around. And so you can pose yourself differently. You can get your different uh, villagers. I don't know. It's it's all there's a lot of creativity there too, which I love it. It's a lot of fun. Well, and you have the ability to go to Harv's and change the inside of that. Like you can change that room to however you want. I recorded a whole music video. Yes. Like if oh you, my gosh. If you if you go onto my YouTube and look up another wasp nest, I made, I wrote a song and recorded all the music in game my character singing at the microphone playing the drums playing guitar yeah and and it was it was all done uh in game and then i, I wrote the song and, and just put that behind the uh you know behind the video of course and it yeah harv's has got so many cool opportunities too that like you you when you go to harv's you have every item you've ever cataloged and you can mm. pull it out and and make up scenes, put and the different amiibo where you want them, different different characters. Oh, you're giving like me that. ideas right now. Uh, good. Like that. Yeah, that's great. That's that's what I want to hear. But even just your music video alone, like it just shows again, like all the different levels of creativity that you can pull from this this game. Like just whatever you're into, like there's a way I think for everyone to find enjoyment in this game. Well, and we're if you're only listening to this, if you go and watch the video that we're that we're making right now. This is all done in game and I have the camera set up. We're sitting on two two stone stools next to a fire with our umbrellas because it's raining and I'm switching cameras as as we talk using the camera in in the app. And I had to set it up by standing in the middle of us pulling the camera out and then I went and sat down and that allows me to bounce between us yeah. as we're yeah. as we're chatting. So it's it's just very cool. There's there's so so very much to do. Um any any final things that you want to mention about this uh, uh about this game before we wrap up this episode? I mean, honestly, if you're on the fence at all, I 100% recommend this game um like we said there's so many different ways of playing depending on what your interest is i really think you'll find something that you love about it if not all of it um i i love it and i don't i don't think i could i don't see myself getting bored anytime soon um yeah i, I think it's it's a great game it's, it's a lot of fun whether you play by yourself or you get community involved your friends like hey this is a great time to hang out with your friends like this is the only way you can hang out with your friends right now so like it's just awesome there's just it's yeah it, we've seen crazy things like surprise parties we've seen birth announcements we've seen engagements we've seen weddings weddings we're gonna <laughs> like, see uh, graduation ceremonies here soon <laughs> yep. like yeah it's such a there's so many great heartwarming ways to bring the community together and then even if you are just you know getting together to fish or to the meteor showers or whatever like it's it's a lot of fun take advantage of it and i, I think you can um really 
yeah, you can really get creative with this or you can just play it for what it is. And I think you're going to have fun either way. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. And so um, just a couple quick things. I am putting out a ton of YouTube videos on this game, a lot of tutorial videos, how to catch different bugs, how to use one digital copy of the game between two switches. And all you need is another uh, another account on that second switch that has Nintendo um, Nintendo Switch online. And that will allow you to uh, that will allow you to play with that other person in your house as long as you do online play and I go through exactly how to handle that on that video so uh, make sure to check that out if it's something you're interested in we just had an animal show up like we can see in the camera right now they're just they're just wandering around <laughs> kind of scoping us out so yeah. Um, but yeah absolutely loving this game can't recommend it enough it's a it's a it's a 10 out of 10 for me oh, it, it, it really is like it, and again I did get burnout after like 200 hours and I was like oh I don't know if I'm liking this as much no, I'm 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 still very very hooked. It's it's probably gonna. I mean, Animal Crossing New Leaf was my most played game on my on my 3DS, and there's a chance there's a chance this one could over overtake Mario Kart. Whoa. We'll see. We'll see. So that says something uh, right there. <laughs> it does. It does. So where can people follow you again? Um, on Twitter, I am at Crosser Gen, and Instagram and Facebook Animal Crosser Gen. And yeah. Twitch soon, Twitch soon, because you have been doing some Twitch streams, right? It's right now it's set to N64 Gen, but it's going to be changing. Correct. So. I've been streaming at N64 Gen, but we'll change yeah. that soon too. We'll, yeah, we'll probably change that to. I imagine Crosser. We'll see if we can get it to fit. We'll, we'll try Animal fits. Cross Crosser Gen, but it may be maybe Crosser Gen. So we'll let you guys know for sure. But she is streaming periodically. I'm streaming at twitch.tv slash N64 Josh um, quite often. Tons of YouTube videos coming out. Still have the Nintendo Powercast going if you're looking for something else to watch or listen to. Thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in and, and checking this out. And we will see you guys in the next episode. Yeah, see you later. <laughs>